demise. This catalyzes a series of interconnected events unfolding in four distinct segments. Under the ominous shroud of a dark spirit, Patrick Hill, portrayed by Jason Statham, enters the scene five. Hayden Bullet, Blair, embodied by Holt McCallany, playfully dubs him H. Hill navigates a challenging training period, establishing a rocky rapport with fellow colleagues such as Boy Sweat, Dave, Jar. Notably, H takes over Sticky John's position, who has been relegated to a desk role. Despite Sticky John's attempts to bridge a connection, H remains reserved. Assigned to a daily detail with Bullet and Dave, H faces a pivotal moment when, during a $2.5 million cash drop-off, Bullet becomes a hostage. In the ensuing crisis, Hill persuades a panicked Dave to comply with the assailant's demands. Yet, in a twist of fate, H exhibits extraordinary marksmanship and ruthless efficiency, eliminating the entire crew before interrogating them about their unseen orchestrator. Questioned by FBI agents investigating the robbery, they are same guys who were investigating the robbery from five months ago. H denies there is any connection between the two robberies. Hill is assigned to desk duty as a precaution, but Fortico's CEO Blake Halls, Rob Delaney, returns him to working in the field. The investigators Hubbard, Josh Cowdery, and Oki, Jason Wong, identify him to their superior, Agent King Andy Garcia, as someone the FBI has been hunting for 25 years, but King tells them to leave Hill alone. An associate Kirsty, Line Rene, delivers Hill a dossier of Fortico employee files, photos of Dana's family, and an autopsy report. Three months later, Hill and Bullet are waylaid in Chinatown, but the robbers flee at the sight of Hill. Bullet and Dave share their suspicions about Hill with each other. Dana takes H out for a date, and H questions Dana at gunpoint about her stash of $125,000. She claims to have stolen the cash from a liquor store pickup, and Hill shows her photos of her parents, threatening them if she is withholding information. Scorched Earth five months before joining Fortico, on the day of the first robbery, Hill is with his son Dougie, Eli Brown. Revealed to be working with his own robbery crew, Hill grudgingly agrees to monitor the armored truck's route, leaving Dougie in the car. But turns out that there were two teams of robbers after the truck. The second team of robbers hijacked the truck much before Hill's team, and spot Dougie nearby in Hill's car, which was parked right next to the spot where the truck was stopped. Racing back to his son, Hill watches as Dougie is executed, and is shot himself and left for dead. Three weeks later, Hill wakes up in the hospital. Blaming him for Dougie's death, his wife Jane Keeve Macklin leaves him. He meets with King, who gives him a list of possible suspects and agrees to temporarily turn a blind eye. Hill is actually Mason Hargreaves, a notorious crime lord, determined to find Dougie's killer, Hargreaves and his men, led by Mike, Daryl Silva, Brendan Cameron Jack, and Magi Babs Alyu Samikin, kill nearly everyone on King's list, without results. They even find a crime family with $2.5 million stashed in the house, but Mike and Maga reckon it's not the team they are looking for. Mike voices his concerns about retaliation and suggests that it was perhaps an inside job with Fortico and Hargreaves agrees to lay low in London, but instead assumes the identity of Patrick Hill and joins Fortico to continue the hunt himself. It was Hargreaves' own crew who attempted the Chinatown robbery until Mike recognized him. Bad animals, bad sometime before the first robbery, a group of disgruntled veterans, Carlos, Les Alonso, Sam, Raul Castillo, Brad, Deobia Opere, Tom, Chris Riley, Jan, Scott Eastwood, and their former sergeant, Jackson, Jeffrey Donovan, decide to become thieves. They rob Carlos's wealthy client. Carlos was working as a security guard after his discharge from the military, resulting in only a few hundred thousand dollars. With help from an unidentified guard, working inside Fortico, who served under Jackson, they pull off a more ambitious heist, six million dollars, of an armored truck. Turns out Jackson's crew and Hargreaves' crew went after the same truck and events of the first robbery ensued. Unaware of Hargreaves' identity, Jen needlessly shoots the guards, Dougie, and Hargreaves, who sees Jan's face. Liver, lungs, spleen and heart five months later, the veterans reunite to steal over $150 million from the Fortico Depot on Black Friday weekend. Bullet reveals to Hargreaves that he is Jackson's inside man, and he admits to playing his part in the first robbery, 
threatening him into cooperating. Jackson's crew boards H's and Bullet's truck, while Bullet had disabled the cameras. Bullet needed H to get the crew inside the depot. The crew takes the depot hostage, but an alarm is triggered in the ensuing gunfight. Bullet kills Dana and Dave, and Hargreaves kills several of the robbers. Fleeing with Bullet and Jackson, Jin kills them to escape alone with the money. Jin finds a phone in one of the money bags, planted by Hargreaves to track its location. Hargreaves confronts him with Dougie's autopsy report, shooting him in the same place as he shot Dougie. Abandoning the money, Hargreaves tells King his task is done and is driven away. Scorched Earth Five months before joining Fortico on the day of the first robbery, Hill is with his son Dougie. Revealed to be working with a robbery crew, Hill grudgingly agrees to monitor an armored truck's route, leaving Dougie in the car. A group of robbers hijack the truck and spot Dougie. Hill races back to his son and watches as Dougie is murdered before he is also shot and left for dead. Three weeks later, Hill wakes up in the hospital and meets with King, who gives him a list of suspects and agrees to temporarily turn a blind eye. Hill is revealed to be Mason Hargreaves, a notorious crime lord. Determined to find Dougie's killer, Hargreaves and his men, led by Mike, Brendan, and Moggy kill nearly everyone on King's list, without results. Mike voices his concerns about retaliation, and Hargreaves agrees to lay low in London, but instead assumes the identity of Patrick Hill and joins Fortico to continue the hunt alone. It was Hargreaves' own crew who attempted the Chinatown robbery until Mike recognized him. I'm not